My goal for this video is to help you understand how to do polynomial long division, and I'll provide four examples for you guys. The first one is, we have 3x squared plus 5x minus 1 over x plus 4. I know for this one we can also do the synthetic division, but we'll talk about that in another video. For polynomial long division, you want to first draw the long division bar like this, and then put the top on the inside, so 3x squared plus 5x minus 1, and then the bottom on the outside. Next, you want to take the first turn on the inside, compare with the first turn on the outside. So we have 3x squared, and just go ahead and divide it by x. You see, this right here is going to be 3x, you can reduce all the x, right? So, we will have to have 3x, and go ahead and line up with the x terms. So we need a 3x here. So once you figure this out, you are going to do 3x times x, which is 3x squared. And that's why we did this, because we have to figure out what times x will give us 3x squared. And then you also have to do 3x times the 4, which is 12x. So add the 12x. Then for polynomial long division, you are always going to subtract. So put a subtraction and then parentheses because you will have to distribute the negative to both of them. So 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0. Good. The first term should always be gone. Next, 5 minus 12, which is negative 7, and then you still have the x term. And then next, you bring down the minus 1. Now, again, the first term on the inside, and then the first term on the outside. So, if you look at negative 7x, and then divide that by x, you see the x is gone, you need negative 7. So, minus 7 here, and then you take negative 7 times x, which is negative 7x, and then negative 7 times 4, which is negative 28. Once again, subtract, and then parentheses. This minus that, 0. Negative 1 minus negative 28, which is what? Negative 1 minus negative 28, right? So that's going to, uh, that's going to become plus 28. So that will give us positive 27. So I'm going to put this down right here, 27. And what that? This is the remainder. As you can see, we finished like at the end right here. So the last thing that you see right here, this right here, it's the remainder. And uh, I'm going to just indicate that this is the remainder. And this thing right here, it's called the quotient. It's kind of like the answer that you get from the division. And usually this is how we write the answer when we have this form. You want to write down the quotient first, which is 3x minus 7. And then here we have a positive remainder. Go ahead and add 27. And then you have to put it over the original denominator, which is x plus 4. So this is how you will present the answer, like this. That's it. Now, next one. So same thing. The top on the inside, 6x cubed plus 5x squared minus 6x plus 4. And then the bottom on the outside. Now, compare the first term inside and then the first term from the outside. So 6x cubed over 2x. 6 over 2 is 3. x cubed over x is x squared. So this is what we need. 3x squared, let's put it here. And then we take 3x squared times 2x, which we get 6x cubed. And then we also take 3x squared times negative 1, which is minus 3x squared. Okay, and then subtract parentheses like this over. Now this minus that is 0. 5 minus negative 3 is 5 plus 3, which is 8. And then we still have the x squared term. Next, bring down the negative 6x. And then we compare the first term right here and then the first term right here. Let's do 8x squared divided by 2x. This is going to be 4x, so that's what we need next. Positive 4x. So 4x times 2x is 8x squared. 4x times negative 1 is negative 4x. Continue by subtracting and then parentheses like this. This minus that, 0. Then we have negative 6 minus negative 4. So negative 6 minus negative 4. 
So it becomes what? Negative 6 plus 4, which is equal to negative 2. Right? It's negative 2. And that will be negative 2, and then we still have the x term. Lastly, bring down the plus 4. And then if you compare this and that, it's negative 1. But I'll also show you like here. Negative 2x over 2x. This right here gives you negative 1. So put down negative 1. Take negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. Subtract. This and that guaranteed to become, right? Lastly, 4 minus 1, we get 3. So the answer for this right here is 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. And this is plus 3 over the original denominator, so 2x minus 1. So that will do it. Just like this. Now for the next one, we have to be careful a little bit because here we have x cubed plus 8. So when you set it up on the inside, you write down x cubed, but since there's no x squared, you will have to put down plus 0x squared. And then also there's no x, so we will have to put down plus 0x. And then lastly, we have the plus 8, like this. You must have the 0 and 0 here. Just think about them as placeholder, where you help us to do long division. So why exactly do we need this? Well, just imagine that if I ask you to write me a check, $1,008. Well, how would you write it? $1,008. You are not going to just put down 1 and 8, right? What's in the middle? 0 and 0. 1 of the 1,000 place and then 8 in the unit place, but also mention we have 0 in the hundreds place and 0 in the tens place. So that if you do 1,008 divided by that, say, 17, then you can proceed, right? Same thing, like this. And then we will put down the x plus 2 on the outside, and you will see why we really need this right now. Okay, first turn on the inside, first turn on the outside. x cubed over x, so we need x squared. Aha, x squared. Line up the x squared term right here, that's why we really need to have the zero x squared. So take the x squared times x, which is x cubed, and then take x squared times 2 is plus 2x squared. Okay, so subtract parentheses like this, this minus that 0, and then 0 minus 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Then bring down the plus 0x. Now compare this with that. So negative 2x squared over x, that gives us negative 2x. So that's what we need right here. And then take negative 2x times x is negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times 2 is minus 4x. Subtract parentheses. 0 minus negative 4x is positive 4x. And then bring down the plus 8. So finally, 4x and x, we need a 4, right? Because 4x divided by x is equal to 4. So plus 4. 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 2 is 8, subtract. In this case, as you can see, the remainder is actually 0. Because the truth is, on the top is factorable, and you get a factor of x plus 2. But if you do long division, you also get the answer. And we will just have x squared minus 2x plus 4. If the remainder is 0, you don't have to put on plus 0 over x plus 2. You can just leave the answer like this. Just like that. Now for this one, notice the denominator is a quadratic term, but it's still the same idea. Let's go ahead and put the top on the inside. 5x to the fourth power plus 2x to the third power, but there's no x squared, right? So what do we do? Yes, plus 0x squared, and then plus x minus 7. However, on the outside, here we have x squared. I know there's no x, but if this is on the outside, you don't have to write down plus 0x. Just go ahead and write this down. This is enough, and you will see why. Now, follow the same idea. Take the first term, and then compare with that. So, let's see what we need. 5x to the fourth power divided by x squared. 
that's just going to be 5 and then this and that is 5x squared so we need to line up right here 5x squared now take the 5x squared times x squared which is 5x to the fourth power so you put it here then we take this times the 2 it's 10x to a second power you line them up right here it's plus 10x to the second power if you have the 0x right here you have the 0x to a third power that doesn't really matter when you subtract 0 it doesn't matter so you don't have to have the 0x right here but on the inside you have to have the 0x squared if it's missing so once you have this subtract parentheses this minus sign is 0 this right here it's like minus 0 so you write that down and then this is 0 minus 10 so that's negative 10 and then we have the x squared and then you bring down the next term don't worry about the negative 7 yet do that at the end now the first term first term so 2x to the third power over x squared you reduce all the powers we get 2x to the first power so 2x go ahead and write up plus 2x here plus 2x times x squared is 2x to the third power 2x times 2 is 4x you will line m up right here and then subtract like this now this minus that 0 this bring that down negative 10x squared and then last the x minus 4 x right so it's negative 3x 1 minus 4 is negative 3 and then you have the x term lastly bring down the minus 7 compare this and that so negative 10x squared over x squared that's negative 10 so we need minus 10 here so negative 10 times x squared is negative 10x squared negative 10 times 2 is negative 20 so minus 20 here and then subtract like this okay this minus that 0 but bring this down though negative 3x and then negative 7 minus negative 20 becomes negative 7 plus 20 which we get 13 so plus 13 here in fact this right here is a remainder even though it has an x because this is x to the first power in comparison with the original denominator we have a uh, x squared so the remainder if you have x to a lower power than this then yeah it's possible and we'll just write down the answer like this 5x squared plus 2x minus 10 and then I'm just going to put this on the top I will just put plus this which is negative 3x plus 13 over the original denominator one thing though do not put on the minus right here because that makes a different thing just go ahead and just add whatever the remainder is right here and over the original denominator and this will do it just like that all right a small bonus practice question for you guys we have this one over this one same thing let's go ahead and put the top on the inside 8x cubed minus 6x squared plus 7x and then minus 17 now the bottom on the outside 2x squared plus x plus 3 okay first term inside first term from the outside right so 8x cubed over 2x squared reduce we get 4 reduce we get x so we need 4x which is going to be lined up right here now take the 4x times 2x squared we get 8x cubed and then take 4x times x which is plus 4x squared and then 4x times 3 we have plus 12x subtract like this this and that 0 negative 6 minus 4 right minus 4 so that's negative 10 x squared continue 7 minus 12 so that's negative 5x and then lastly bring down the negative 17 now we have negative 10x squared compute with that so negative 10x squared over 2x squared that reduce out but we will get negative 5 so 
put that down right here. Negative 5 times 2x squared is negative 10x squared. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times 3 is minus 15. Yeah, just like this. Okay, and then subtract like this. Negative 10x squared minus negative 10x squared, they cancel. This minus that, they also cancel. They are exactly the same. Lastly though, we have negative 17 minus negative 15, so it becomes plus 15. So we will end up with negative 2. So the remainder here is just negative 2. So the answer for this right here is 4x minus 5, and then we write down minus 2 over the original denominator, 2x squared plus x plus 3. Notice, I put on negative right here because on the top we just have a 2. So this means negative 2 over that. If you write it as plus negative 2 like this, that's fine too. But I'm just going to leave it like this. And this right here will be the answer. Alright, so hopefully this video right here. So hopefully this, yeah. so hopefully this video is helpful. Yeah, right here is the answer. So that's it. Hopefully this right here helps.